Hey, this is Anthony with bsidestudios.com, a web design firm out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and today I'm going to be talking about a module called Google Fonts. People all around the web are looking for new and easy ways to make their site flashier than the rest of them. And lots of people nowadays are finding ways to replace fonts on their site with custom ones that seem a little more web 2.0. With the Drupal module called Google Fonts, you can now replace any section of font, whether it be the page heading or headings in a block. And to do this, all you simply need to do is upload the module and add a few lines of CSS. So let's get started. Head over to drupal.org forward slash project forward slash Google underscore fonts. Download the appropriate package for your installation of the Drupal version you have. Once you have it, go ahead and drop it off in your modules folder on your FTP program and head over back to the modules section in your admin panel. Go ahead and enable it, save configuration, head back to the dashboard and go to site configuration, Google fonts. You get tons of pre-rendered fonts here that you can select from, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to enable mobile, Noble and Noble Bold. Go ahead and click Save Configuration, and just go ahead and open up your main CSS file, and since I want to add a custom font to my page titles, I'm going to go ahead and click H1 since I use a Zen framework, Font Family, Noble on a font style of normal and since I clicked on bold let's just go ahead and add weight of bold now what you're gonna do is save that go back to your site and this is what the font looks like right now let's get a full refresh and there we go font has been called now it should change on every page that has an h1 tag looking good all right that just about wraps it up as you can see our custom font was called in our in on our headers and everything is already starting to look better if you have any questions feel free to contact us at team at bsidestudios.com thanks